Hey guys, I'm Jim and this is Jim's Fix-It Shop and today we're going to get back on these mini series and today we're going to change the oil in a couple machines out here. Uh, I got a new victim, I mean uh, a new job. One of the guys I work with, I picked up his snapper and he wants me to go through it. And we're going to start out by changing the oil because I'm going to drain the oil out of it so I can bring it in here and stand it up. For a long period of time and have to worry about the oil leaking out so we're going to show them how to do that and i yeah it's, that's pretty simplistic but my buddy that lives around the corner he's been fighting uh, lung cancer for a while and he's stuck in the house and you know you can only go as far as that little hose goes and he lost his battle last year and I keep in touch with his wife. I call her at least every other week, sometimes every week. And she knows she's to call me if she needs anything. I go over there in the fall and I winterize her tractors and her lawnmower. And I get her snowblower going. And in the spring, I get rid of the snowblower and I get her tractors going. And she said, Jim, she says, I don't think I ever changed the oil in my rider. And I says, uh, Mary, we're going to do that today. I'm going to show you how. So it was pretty black, but uh, we changed the oil. We changed the blades, uh, put a spark plug in her walk behind and got that running. And I was going to do a video on that, but I didn't want to make her feel uncomfortable. So I didn't. So we're going to do it here. So there's, a, I'm sure some people out there that would like to know where the drain plugs are on these machines because some machines don't have them and some of the new walk behind you buy i think it's toro that's advertising you never have to change your oil in this lawnmower well that's because they build them every day and they want you to buy a new one as often as possible that's like telling you you never have to change your oil in your car well look what that's going to get you and uh, we're going to go out and check out some drain plugs on a couple of these machines that I have here. And uh, I guess let's get started. Okay, here's this snapper that i got to work on. To me, it looks in pretty doggone good shape. But we're going to drain the oil on it. And this has got a little drain hose, which I don't know how you keep it where you want it. That might be interesting. I sure don't want to sit here and hold it. Yeah, that's uh, that's going to be a trick. But it has a fancy little drain on here, and it's plastic. Now I do not like these. If uh, this vibrates and comes open, you're going to lose your oil. At least with this model, you have this hose up here. So the oil will just come into the hose, and that's as far as it's going to go. My boss at the shop has got a setup similar to this, but the hose isn't on it. You have to put one on it, otherwise the oil dribbles down the back of your machine. And this one you can tell it is leaking oil out of this little valve. So we're going to open this up, maybe. I have no idea how this works. I think if we set this up on top of here, we can clip that right on the side of this bucket. <laughs> this could be interesting. So you just twist that and give it a pull, and out comes the oil, supposedly. Yeah, we're dribbling. My tractor in this hole just has a plug. So when you unscrew the plug, the oil runs out and all over everything. This is a little bit better design, but to make it really the way I would do it, is I would screw a pipe nipple in here that stuck out about probably three inches. Then I'd put a cap on it. It's all steel. It's not going to break. It's not going to vibrate loose. I think that's the way I'd go with it. Now on this machine, I don't know if I can get the camera around here, 
no matter what we gonna what we do, we're gonna make a mess. Okay, now we're on the side of the machine. So when we change the oil, we gotta change the oil filter. This engine has an oil filter on it, just like your car. The only problem is they put it right there. I don't know if you can see it, but the yellow sticker, that's the oil filter. Now how are you going to get that out of there without making a terrible mess all over your tractor? That might be interesting, but as this thing is slowly draining, I want to show you this other lawnmower and how we drain this one. Okay, I went up to my sister's yesterday and I got this. She gave it to her grandson. She said it sat for four years and he pours gas in it and it runs right out down here somewhere. So that's okay. The, the float stuck. I didn't have any tools with me, so I said, let me just take it home. I'll fix it and bring it back. Well, my soon-to-be father-in-law, he says... Uh, I think it needs a head gasket. <laughs> so I said, well, let me check it out, and uh, I'll get it running. And in the meantime, don't let your father-in-law work on your car, okay? So I brought it home, <clears throat> and just vibrating down the road in the back of my truck, I get it home, I fill up with gas, no leaks. The float apparently broke loose and is now working. And for sitting for four years, it started on the third pull. So I think he's got a pretty good machine. Outside of there's no visible drain plug on the top of the engine. So now we go on the bottom. And if I get you a little closer or not. Boy, pretty dark down here. I don't know if you can see this. This is your drain plug right here underneath this bracket that holds the belt for the drive system. Well, apparently they don't plan on you draining the oil out of that drain plug. So now what do we do? Well, if you buy a brand new lawnmower, they'll tell you how to drain the oil. Okay, we spun this thing around. This is where you pour the oil in. And there's no drain down on this side either. Your new lawnmowers, they're building a lot like this one. And they tell you when you drain the oil, you take this fill cap and dipstick out. And you have somebody help you turn your lawnmower upside down and pour the oil out of the hole you just put it into. That, isn't that wonderful? You think with all the engineering degrees they have out there, they can figure out how to change the oil, something a little simpler than that. Well, that's it. I know that was pretty simple, but there are some people out there that have always had husbands to help them, or they've always had wives. You can't put all this on men I've got a lady that emailed me. She hasn't told me where she lives yet. Her name is Holly. And they just bought a, well, I might as well say a brand new snapper from an elderly neighbor. She said it's five years old. And for the last four years, he couldn't pull the rope to start it. Now, if it's a five-year-old machine, it should have a starter on it. Apparently, he didn't have a battery. So I don't know what could possibly be wrong with this, but she wants to go through it and uh, see what's wrong with it, if anything. <clears throat> and I says, hey, if you need any help, just let me know. I'm here to help all you guys and gals get these old machines running. And uh, as soon as I get that one in here, we're going to start going through it and see if anything's wrong with it. I have checked the side play already in the axle, and it does have some, and it's excessive according to the directions. They say a 30-second maximum. This is more than that, so we're going to shim that out, 
show you how to do that. I've been talking about that a lot to you guys that have side play. And uh, the boots are in good shape. So I don't know what we're going to be doing to it. I don't know how far he wants me to tear into this thing. I'm hoping it's pretty deep because <laughs> I just love tearing these apart. <laughs> and uh, Glenn from Alabama, he took his snapper in to have boots put on it. And he emailed me and said, I got a price from the dealership. And you know what I say about when I hear dealership, I see dollar signs. They gave me a price of $400 to put two boots on my tractor. That sounds a little high, doesn't it? Well, considering the boots are about eight bucks a piece, yes, Glenn, that is extremely high. And he's going to do it himself with the help of my videos. And uh, clutches, clutches are so simple. And they charge 75 bucks an hour to do this stuff. I have another viewer wrote me in and said he brought his snapper down and it has a busted chain in the differential. $1,000 repair bill. I said, you can fix that for probably less than 50 bucks. Do it yourself. It's simple. So if you guys out there need any help or gals doing anything, let me know. Last night was pretty slow. I only had five emails. I'm like, everybody gone on vacation? What's the deal? I usually have 30 a night. <laughs> I had a night off last night. I couldn't believe it. But if you need any help, just send me an email and I'll get back with you. Some of them will take a little longer because i got to look up some of these answers myself I'm getting from you guys. Let me know. And remember, work safe, have fun, and we'll talk to you soon. See you later.